Hello everybody, my name is Jade and today I'm going to talk to you about 18 plus Legos. Stick around! Before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe for more queer, historical and social commentary videos. Recently I bought a new Lego set, the Everyone is Awesome set. You probably heard about this set somewhere on Facebook, maybe read about it, maybe somebody in your own environment bought it. I ordered it because I like Legos and I like LGBT stuff. so. This is a great thing for me. I was impressed by the box. It's a nice looking box. It's simple, stylistic, and it fits the new, a little bit more of a mature look of Lego sets. Then I started looking at the box more closely. There are 364 pieces in this set. It's not a big set, it's not a small set, it's just a normal set. Then I saw the age ranging. It's age ranged at 18 plus. See, it's right there. 18 plus Legos. And that actually ticked me off. Why would a set like this be age ranged? It's not a complicated set, it's not a big set. So what really leaves that behind is the subject. During this video I will be showing a sped up version of me building this set so that you can see it's not complicated, hard or big. It's just a small set. Here you see me opening the book for the first time and the instruction book is great. It has great instructions. The images are crisp, they're clear. The story inside is heartwarming and touching. So after this I got to building and I started building the Lego figurines first. Why the figurines first, I hear you think. Well, I figured the figurines would be the most complex part. They're a bit standalone, they're not at a certain point in the build where you have to, they are interdependent on something else. So I figured this was the right choice. I even had a little bit of a hard time because I lost a piece at some point, but I fixed it. But this being the most, but does this being the most complex part warrant an 18 plus age raging? I don't think so. There are sets out there that are way more complicated. Ryan from MNR Productions, link is in the video description down below, uh, has a great video talking about 18 plus Lego sets and how there are ones that are way more complicated and how the line is actually getting a little bit veiled. For example, the new Lego Star Wars helmets. Perfect 18 plus set, makes total sense to me. The mosaic sets, yes, those are a collector's thing. Makes total sense for me to make those 18 plus. The haunted, haunted house, definitely make that 18 plus. There's electronics in there, there's a motor in there that works. I mean, that's great, but there are also some examples out there of 18 plus sets that don't do so well. The last winter village was 18 plus. Why? It wasn't complicated. All the winter villages before were 12 plus, so why did LEGO make that decision? A more complicated set, for example, would be the flower bouquet set, which my girlfriend has. It has 765 pieces, which is more than double the amount that the Everyone is Awesome set has. It is also 18 plus, and just looking at the box, you can see a lot of tiny little LEGO details. Whereas in the build so far, you will probably have seen that the Everyone is Awesome set only consists of normal blocks and normal pieces. And this box, also marketed in the same adult fashion that LEGO has. It's the sleek black design, a little bit of a color down here. It's 18 plus, just like Everyone is Awesome. So they are in the same family, but totally different builds. So let's get back to the building. As we continue this build, I want to talk about what exactly my issue is. As you've seen, this isn't a complex build so far, and I'm promising you, it won't get any more complex than this. I had the hardest time figuring out the exact grid pattern. I had to do a few over, but as you see, it goes pretty smooth. But what exactly is my issue then? Well. To be honest, by making a product like this, if it's not 18 plus and it clearly isn't about the complexity, that only leaves the subject matter, which suggests that LGBT queer stuff is an 18 plus subject, which suggests in its own that anyone under the age of 18 isn't allowed to talk about it to not only take away that you're restricting the representation because imagine you're 14 you came out to your family and you have a lovely grandma who wants to support you and buy you a lego set because she heard about it but she says sees it's 18 and she doesn't buy it to you lgbt and queer rights are something that is for every 
age. They're human rights. Human rights should be talked about in every age. It shouldn't be normalized that these are 18 plus topics. These are topics that you can talk with a four year old about. These are topics that you can talk with an eight year old or out with a 12 year old because it's not about sexuality. It is about acceptance. It's about having equal rights, regardless of who you love or who you feel you are. And by restricting a product like this and restricting visibility to 18 plus, you are sending out the message. This is a mature topic and that should only be discussed by adults. And that isn't what you want. That isn't what we should want as a society. So Lego I know you're saying that you do it because it's a collector's thing, because you're saying that it's a little bit more of an exclusive thing and not something you can play with, but all those arguments, as Ryan in MNR Productions explains, don't fly here, because the ghost house is something you can play with, but it definitely is an 18 plus set. LGBT and queer representation isn't an 18 plus subject, it's a subject for every single age, and by age restricting these kind of projects to 18 plus you are age restricting the discussion and lgbt and queer subjects to be talked about so that is my take and my vision on the everyone is awesome set from lego and why it shouldn't be 18 plus if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment down below tell me what you think maybe it should be 18 plus and maybe i missed something don't be afraid to tell me and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy queer historical and social commentary content. And with that being said, I'll see all of you in my next HRT update. Bye bye.